Hey, this is Andy from Blackville Brides, and you are watching CMS TV. Your classic metal show right here on the classic metal show.com. That of course was Slayer with SS three and bringing the metal to kind of wrap up the musical interludes for the night. This has been fun, dude. I actually, once in a while, I don't mind playing the music. <laughs> well, PC in the chat room, wish me nothing, but, uh, hopefully the CMS server just stays broken. So, uh, you know, fuck you PC. Next time you mouth off like that, I'm going to put you right out of the chat room forever. So uh, watch your P's and Q's, dickhead. There you go. Perfect. How's that? It's okay to have one night where we don't where we don't play, you know, the rats and the Dawkins of the world, isn't it? But, uh, you know what? We don't play we don't play that stuff that often. It just yes, seems do. like that. Yes, we do. No, we don't. I think we do. We play one or the other every week. No, that's not true. It is true. It isn't true. You're saying we don't play rat or docking or a sub of them every week. Nope. I would argue that all day long. I would argue all day long that we play at least one rat arcade, Stephen Piercy, Don Dokken, Lynch mob. One of those bands every single week. I would argue that all day long. Who's okay. going to do the research for us? <laughs> We're going to go rev style here. Who's going to do our research for us? Yeah, pal. <laughs> Cause it ain't going to be me or you, but <laughs> somebody better do it. Won't be me. <laughs> anyway, you got stuff to finish up with here. I do. All right. Good. Let's see here. All right. I just finished something up right. Just now, just now. What'd you do? Did you throw somebody out of here? You'll never know. Did you throw someone out? <laughs> You'll never know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wasn't me, was it? <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, since, since you brought this up literally, uh, probably months ago. Okay. Um, and, and you predicted this and this was, this was highly predictable, but I think I'm going to give you credit for basically voicing this for the first time. Okay. A California bar owner is accused of selling fake COVID ID vaccine <laughs> certificates for 20 bucks a piece. <laughs> nice. Very nice. So yes, he's, uh, selling COVID ID for 20 bucks a piece. Well, look at that. Todd Anderson, the owner of Old Corner Saloon in Clements, California, has been arrested. Mm -hmm. Prosecutors say Anderson sold fraudulent COVID-19 vaccination cards from his bar. <laughs> <laughs> He's been charged with identity theft, forging government documents, and falsifying medical records. Oh, boy. The California bar owner has been accused of selling the fraudulent COVID-19 vaccination cards state and county officials said last, this week. Mm -hmm. Todd Anderson, the owner of the Old Corner Saloon in Clements, California, has been charged with identi identity theft, okay. for government documents, and falsifying medical records. An investigation was launched after California's Department of Alcoholic Beverage Beverage Control received a complaint regarding fake vaccination cards being sold at the bar. Mm -hmm. Again, I, I know people who have gotten the vaccination and they talk about their vaccination card, mm -hmm. but at what point are you required to even show that? Yeah. The real question is why were people buying it? Well, again, that's the whole thing. It's just like, uh, why, why are you selling this? Number one, 
-hmm. And number two, who's looking, you know, who, who's looking to say, show this to me. Yeah. No, you're right. I don't, I don't know. It's crazy. So, uh, there you go. Well, there you go out, beat it, pal. Yep, exactly. So anyway, that's, that's what this guy's fate is. What do you think he'll get for it? Who knows? Uh, in the month after receiving the complaint, un undercover agents bought four fake vaccination cards from the bar for 20 bucks each. <laughs> While later searching the bar, investigators found 30 blank cards, a lamination machine, and two more <laughs> completed fraudulent cards. <laughs> So this guy's like printing them off and laminating them and making them all official and shit. Right. So uh, are the people with the fake cards, their names on them, are they getting arrested too? I don't know the answer. Hmm. For trying to purchase illegal documents. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Whatever. They should be shamed. <laughs> they should be shamed. Uh, to answer your question, it remains unclear how many cards were sold at the bar before investigators received the complaint. California's Department of Alcohol Beverages Control said in a statement that it plans to file disciplinary actions against the business, which could result in the bar having its license suspended or revoked. Right. So he's going to lose his, his alcohol license. Too. Probably. License. <laughs> wow. Well, he's going to lose his freedom anyway, so I guess he won't need an alcohol license. Yep. Holy smokes. <laughs> That's fucking nutty, man. Wow. What are you looking at? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach people a lesson here. <laughs> I'm teaching people a lesson. Are you? You haven't bounced anybody in a year, and you're going to bounce two in a week? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, and ass rammer says, uh, Neely, why is, uh, why are you such a whiny little bitch? Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> See ya. Now you're gone. Oops. I'll throw every one of your asses out of my chat room. <laughs> well, you pay for it. I do. I pay for it. I run this show. I own this show and everything I do, I can do this. So, uh, you know, who, who's next? So there, so who's next out beat it. Yeah. Fuck you, pal. That's what that really means. Fuck you, pal. Ouch. You're gone. Damn. Yep. All right. Now here's something you can look up. Okay. <laughs> this is just like really totally disgusting. All right. All right. Look up this woman. Um, let's see what's this girl's name. While you're looking up her name, um, I'd just like to say Harrison in the chat room said, You're the best, Neely. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> it's funny. All right, go ahead. What's her name? I, I you know, I again I don't do that often, but you know, if you want to sit there and fuck with me like that, you know, and be a dick about it, I'll show you what a dick is really like. So eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, this is a uh, a new a New York mom mm -hmm. of four put her money where her mouth is. Okay. She and her pearly whites are hitting jaw dropping heights on TikTok. What's her name, Michelle Malloy? <laughs> um. Let's see if I'm trying to find if she has a last name on here at all. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're, they're just calling her Alicia, but, uh, is there a picture of her? Or no. Yeah, there is. Send me the link to, through the, through the Skype. I'll do that here. Let me see. All right. Let me see if I can pull this up real quick. Um, I'm, poor. I'm trying to see if she has a name, but I guess I'm just going to have to sh send the link to you. Yeah, just send it over. I'll find it. I'll find the picture. Alicia is all they post her name as must be under 18 no she's a mom she's, oh. a mom she's a mom of four what does that mean well it doesn't really mean anything i guess it doesn't gauge age yeah she could be 14 
Well, you're you're right about that. <laughs> Mom of four, that could be 14 years old at this point. You're absolutely right. Let's see what what is this story under I'm trying to switch machines here and give you uh give you the thing here. Uh what the hell? Neely, if you're going to kick anyone out, kick out Jackal one. Keep posting those fucking Blackmore pics. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he, let me just tell you something. He's come really close. Ah, really I, close. When he goes black more crazy, I just fucking hide him or whatever that's called. Oh, yeah. You just ghost him. Yeah. Whatever that. What is that feature? Let me click on somebody and I'll tell you what it's called. It's just called um, ignore. Oh, ignore. I go with the ignore feature and I just ignore him for a while. All right. All right. Let's see here. Um, let's see here. I'm going to have to look this up because I can't remember what link it was from. Oh, well, what are you reading? Um, or tell me what to look. I'll look it up. Dum, dum, dum. dum. All right, here we go. I got it. All right. I will send you over these links. Okay. Copy, paste, and there you go. There's my there, it is. there you are. Skype. Mom. You get. All right, what do you want me to put up with the with the teeth or without the teeth? Well, there there's both. All right. Oh, she doesn't look that much better with the teeth. She looks <laughs> ridiculous. She really looks ridiculous with the without the teeth. Yeah. With the teeth, I mean. All right, let's see. It's pretty it's pretty gross though. Yeah, it is. Share. Could you imagine making out with this chick? Oh, it'd be lovely. Ugh. Mom pops dentures on TikTok. Hmm. There she is. Oof. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah. A New York mom of four put her money where her mouth was. She and her pearly whites were hitting jaw dropping heights on TikTok after she dropped more than $16,000 on a snap in dentures after suffering tooth loss and decay during pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Well, is that a thing during pregnancy? I never heard of that. I don't know, maybe the baby. Like I'm, pre I'm pregnant, so I lost all my teeth. I've never heard that either, but it probably had to do something with potential meth before the fucking. Well, that's kind of where I'm going with this. It's just like I've never heard of this. Mm -hmm. I, I'm I got pregnant, so all my teeth fell out. Yeah, how'd that happen? Yeah. I told myself when I went through this, that there was not going to be a single person that could say a damn thing to me that'd make me feel bad about it. Asserted Alicia 36 in a video that amassed over 1.6 million views. Jeez. Now again, some, some dude is banging this. Yeah, of course. You know, and is he making out with this chick with this, this toothless, this toothless chick? Come on, you wouldn't want to get in there and just run your tongue along those fucking studs? No. I, 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 I'm just I kind of yeah. would. Ugh. I, I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind sticking my tongue in her mouth and just running my tongue up on those fucking Oh, studs. dude, come on. Those metal studs. <laughs> in a post that caught over 21.7 million digital eyes. Mm -hmm. The curvy brunette. Is she curvy? Yeah, if you look if you look closely at the picture of her with teeth, yeah. See how the hair goes right between a split between some large some large titties. All right, wipes off all of her makeup, peels off of her eyelashes and pops out her dentures, revealing her completely toothless mouth and mm -hmm. drilled implant screws in her gums. <laughs> Good for her. Alicia began losing her teeth after giving birth to her first daughter, Katie, at 21. Damn. She started oh, losing her losing teeth at 21? That's crazy. I've never heard of this before. I never have either, but, you know, I guess it's so, a thing so, so she's been losing her teeth for the last, uh, what, 
15 years. Sounds like it. She's 36 now. And she, they said she started losing her teeth at 21. Yeah. Well, I guess it happens. I've never heard of it before, but at least she's trying to fucking look okay. Well, I agree. Uh, one of my teeth just broke right out in in a McDonald's hamburger. And I was so freaking embarrassed. She explained why I had just married my husband and we just had our first baby. This man married me with perfect teeth. And then next year his wife was missing a friend. So get it fixed. If that's what you want to do. She did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why is she upset about this? Well, oh, owing to years of avoiding the dentist due to traumatic childhood experience, as well as failing to maintain a healthy, well, there you go. Failing to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Alicia's body had stripped nutrients from her teeth to nourish the baby during gestation. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alicia's dental health continued to decline during each and every one of her four pregnancies. Yeah. During the pregnancy, I didn't think I ate properly. I wasn't as healthy, healthy as I should have been. She admitted. So the baby had to be, had to strip things out of my body that I didn't know. I didn't have right. mostly calcium from my teeth. Mm-hmm. Nearly 60 to 75% of pregnant women suffer dental disease due to changing hormones during pregnancy, during the centers of uh, disease control and prevention. If right. not treated, the issue can cause inflammation, infection, and tooth loss. Alicia's dental issues worsened while she was pregnant with her second daughter, B, Bay, B, B E A, mm-hmm. at 24. After my second pregnancy, my tooth were freaking rocked. Alicia lamented, noting that she and her husband, Josh, couldn't afford the costly dental treatments that would replenish her tooth smile at the time. Okay. Uh, their insurance wouldn't cover the cost of the procedures either, but, but they scraped enough money to put the restoration to, to full for the full restoration surgery, which uh, boasted a price tag of $10,000 and meant that she had to go to the dentist every week for an entire year. Hmm. She went on to welcome two more daughters. Boy, she's like a baby making machine, isn't she? Okay. Oh, once she uh, lost those teeth, the husband was yeah. like, well, if all, when all he had was those fucking spikes in her mouth, he didn't want her sucking his dick anymore. So he just fucking put it in her. Yeah, he was afraid he was, she was going to rake his dick. Exactly. And with them came more dental disasters, some that rendered her restoration surgery null and void. <laughs> Ouch. Thanks. Yeah. So at 34, Alicia finally opted for the snap in dentures. The top row cost her $9,600 and the bottom row cost $7,300. So we're looking at over 20 grand in her mouth. Yeah. $20,000. It's expensive. I understand that. I get it. I mean, I know that a crown, uh, costs like 2,500 bucks just for one tooth. Yeah. Well, that, that's why I haven't replaced the bottom two on my, in my fucking face because it's 3,600 bucks. Yeah, I get it. Cause I thought about doing the same thing, just put, getting them to fucking put those screws in my face and snap them fuckers on, <laughs> you know, uh, now that I'm not getting punched, punched in the face anymore, it's, you know, it's probably worth, worth the money to do. That's the real reason I never did it was because I was afraid of getting them knocked out of my face. From fucking, because I was still fighting all the time. Yep. But now that I'm not getting hit anymore, it's probably okay to do, I guess. But yeah. that's how I lost one of the two, because I'm missing these two right here. And and one of them I broke on a fucking fork, biting into a piece of chicken, and it just snapped. I guess I should be embarrassed like her at the McDonald's. Yeah. I uh, snapped it off. Are you on TikTok? Can you, you yeah. know, spread your gums open so you can people yeah. can see your missing teeth? Only if I can do a Patreon or a GoFundMe behind it to pay for these fucking teeth. And then the other one, I just got straight punched out of my face. Right. Literally, a guy just punched me, and he punched me so hard that I spit the tooth back. It it literally hit the back of my throat and then came forward, and I spit it out in, into his face. I spit the tooth into his face, and while he was, like, reacting, getting hit by something, I fucking punched him in the throat and knocked him down and started laying boots to him. 
was one of my all timers. <laughs> I literally spit a tooth in his face and then started started kicking him in the ribs until he couldn't fucking breathe anymore. Yep. Cocksucker. When my dentist told me I could sleep in sleep in the snap in dentures mm -hmm. and that I would never have to go without my teeth, I was sold. Yeah. It was the scariest thing I'd ever done. She banged out four kids and getting teeth replaced was the scariest thing. Yeah, I guess so. I can't imagine your hole being enlarged and 10 times larger than normal. I've seen that big bag of <laughs> shit looking placenta fall out. <laughs> but, but getting your teeth replaced was the scariest thing mm -hmm. ever. I could, I could tell you from seeing the placenta on two different births fall out of a fucking pussy that you're sticking. That's that's a lot more horrific than getting a tooth fixed. Yeah. Eesh. No, it's the scariest thing that I've ever done, but I knew I could. Uh, it could be the best decision I ever made. Mm, yeah. Now, now Alicia uses her digital platform to promote denture positivity and to uh, disassemble the stigma of suffering tooth loss. Well, I guess she'd be a good. Uh, you know, spokesperson for getting the uh, COVID shot too. <laughs> yeah, might as well. I mean, she's an advocate now. Yeah, yeah she's an influencer too. She is. Mm -hmm. We don't have to hate ourselves for needing dentures, no matter what the reason she encouraged. We have the power to make the decision, the best thing we ever did for ourselves. Well, thanks for showing you, yeah. showing us your nasty gums. Sounds to me like she's an advocate for her own fucking lack of self-confidence. Yeah, pretty much. You know, who, who the fuck has dentures because, and is embarrassed about it? Who, you know, I mean, the, the embarrassing part, if there's going to be an embarrassing part is having the fucking hole in your face. And that, you know, that, that I get, you know, if you're, you know, if you're a guy like me, that's missing two teeth and somebody says, okay, smile, like for your fucking for your driver's license, you're just like, you know what? Fuck you. Just take my picture. You know, I can see that there could be, if you cared, you know, some semblance of embarrassment that way, but she got them all fixed. So basically there's not a problem anymore. What's the problem? They don't slip out. You, you fucking brush them like you would anything else, or you just snap them out and throw them in some bleach. <laughs> throw, throw them in your, uh, what is that? What is that drop in tablet shit? Oh, what was that shit called? Um, plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh. No, 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 no. Not, not, uh, it was the, um, where you put the, where you put the tablets in the water and you put your dentures in there. Oh, I don't remember. I, I, I did. Did you ever have any grandparents or anybody that had dentures? I couldn't tell you if they did or not because I never witnessed it. So I, I wouldn't even know. I just re this is a horrible story. I probably shouldn't tell it, but whatever. He's dead, so it just is. <laughs> but my grandfather, Paula Dent. Yeah, Paula Dent. Yeah. My grandfather had dentures. Like his his bottom row of teeth were were dentures, I believe. Okay. And this is my grandfather that I told you about that was like half paralyzed and couldn't speak and all that. Okay. So a lot of times when we'd be over at his house. My, my grandmother would be like, uh, Hey, your grandfather forgot, you know, his cane or something or needs a different shirt or whatever, you know, whatever it would be. And she'd be like, go in the bedroom and get the, and get him his, a shirt or a, his cane or whatever it would be. Right. So I remember one time I got sent in his room to go get him, uh, uh, whatever. And sitting right next to the bed on a little table was this cup like a glass okay there wasn't teeth in it but it was like where he put his teeth every night <laughs> okay. and it was this brown almost sewer looking water oh my god like it hadn't been changed in like a month or something right right and it was i just remember like almost throwing up right there i just because i knew what it was i knew it was for his fucking fake teeth and I just was like, because yeah, <laughs> he's fucking, he's, he's rinsing his teeth in fucking sewage or, or just, you know what it was? It, it, it's flex of everything that he's eaten every day. Right. Just getting floating off of the teeth into this fucking water. And then he's sticking his dirty fucking hands that have been, you know, halfway up his ass. Cause he couldn't move to wipe his ass and, and putting that on his teeth. 
It was like horrible. It just, it just grossed me out. It still grosses me out. Yeah. Well, it's disgusting. It is. And, and he's been gone for however many years, 25 years or whatever. And it still fucking makes me sick. Yeah. 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 Gross. All right. Well, once one more story and we'll get out of here. Okay. Um, apparently there's a, um, social media site. I I'm guessing this is, I guess this would be, be considered a social media site. Okay. Um, it's called Raya R A Y A. Are you familiar with it? I'm not. Okay. A TikTok user who matched with Matthew Perry. That is from friends. Okay on Raya at age 19 speaks out speaks out about what about matching up with uh, Matthew Perry, I guess just matching with them or well, we'll, we'll see what happened. All right. A young TikTok user who went viral for posting a private FaceTime call she had with Matthew Perry. What, what was his, uh, what was his position? Friends. Like? friends? Yeah, he was on Friends. Well, what was his name on there? Um, fuck. Was he Chandler? Chandler. Chandler Bing? Yeah, yeah, Chandler. Okay. He ended up hooking up with uh, Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox. Yeah. Courtney Cox being Ross's sister. sister. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, says she released the video to expose how older men in Hollywood are taking advantage of young women on dating apps. You know, I already hate her, even though she's <laughs> hot as fuck. Like she didn't have a choice. Yeah, I look at her. She she had all the choices in the world. She had no choice to ho- but to hook up with uh, Chandler. Yeah, listen. The only reason Chandler, with his hundreds of millions of dollars, wants to hook up with you is because you're hot and young. Yeah, and he's got money. He's got money and that money buys that fucking golden 19 year old fucking tight pussy, right? Get it through your head. That is your value to a fucking Hollywood celebrity. Sure. He's not looking to hook up with you so that you guys can have a wonderful life together. He's looking to stick his old wrinkled, rich dick in your fucking hot, young, poor pussy, right? That's it. That's the goal. Get it through your head. Jeez. <laughs> I like the fact that you're so quick to pull that picture up. Of course, it's a chick. <laughs> but but again, within the first paragraph, mm-hmm. it's it's just freaking amazing that this chick mm-hmm. is claiming she was taken advantage of. Yeah, well, you know what? Good, because you're on a dating site trying to hook up with a fo- with somebody that you know is a celebrity. Yeah, or or has money. And ha- and has money, not just or not or. Well, well, I'm not say- I don't know that this Raya is specifically for celebrities. Yeah. Okay. It might be for people of means. I Ooh. I don't know that answer. Yeah, I don't know. But looking at her, she's got a little money. Her family has some money. She's not broke. No. Somebody paid to keep that skin as soft as it is. <laughs> a lot of people out. were. A lot of people were saying. I'm a bully and mean, I guess you and Donald Trump, you need to go to the same, uh, you know, corner, Mm -hmm. uh, for posting this, but it made me feel kind of bad at the same, at the same time. I feel like a lot of guys in Hollywood are talking to these young girls. And it's something that I think a lot of people should be aware of. Well, you're on there. Yeah. And why are you on there then? And guess what? We're very aware that Hollywood rich guys fuck young girls. We're very aware. Who are you trying to make aware? Who do you think doesn't know this? Why are you on there? Yeah. Because she's an advocate. She's trying to make us. Well, what was your goal when you signed up for this Raya? Yeah. What what were you thinking that you were going to go date Joe the plumber? Yeah. No. No. She... She literally, she got, she got, fuck it. I guarantee you, this is how this went. And I could be dead wrong, but I, I'm going to make an assumption here. She hit Matthew Perry up. He said, God damn, that's a hot piece of ass. And he probably went straight for it because he's a Hollywood guy. He probably and, didn't. And he has money. 
Yeah, he probably didn't say, well, why don't we get together at the fucking Applebee's and have a little dinner? <laughs> I guarantee you, he probably went more with like, I can't be out because I'm famous, but if you want to come to my house and suck my cock, here we go. Right. I'm interested. I have a lot of money, so if you need cab fare home, I, mm -hmm. I'll be willing to pay. I'll make it worth your while. Sure. Yeah, I'm sure that's what this was. This guy, I mean, why should he play around? He's fucking got, I mean, legit, it wasn't friends. Wasn't each person on friends paid like a million an episode, Yeah, a million episodes. They did 200 fucking episodes. Well, I mean, I think it was a million an episode, like the last season or something, right. but, but up until then they were getting like half a million to three quarters of a million per episode. Yeah. And he's done other shit as well. Yeah, yeah, he's had movies and shit, but yeah. I'm sure the guy is worth at least, at least 50, 50 million bucks. Let's find out TTH Matthew Perry net worth. Let's see what we got here. 120 million. All right. So it's, that's a lot of money. Yeah. It's a lot of money that you have so that you don't play games with some 19 year old cunt bag. That when you got that kind of money, it's like, look, this dick ain't sucking itself, hon. <laughs> that's your. That's why I'm bringing you I mean, here. Even, even if he sent her home with a hundred thousand dollars, which is yeah. ridiculous, which would be but, crazy. But, but even if he sent her home with a hundred grand, yeah, that's not even a a drop in the bucket to to what what did you say he's worth? One twenty. Yeah, that's like that's like you and I spending ten bucks. Yeah, exactly. Which is closer to the actual value here. You know, yeah, the guy didn't treat you nice. You act like that's fucking wrong. That's exactly how he should have been. This is a guy that has established himself on a level that he doesn't need. And and to be fair, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that statement back. Any guy that doesn't want to play your stupid games doesn't need to. Any guy. If guy broke dick guy that has no money still doesn't want to kiss your ass and do 14 dates at fucking restaurants he can't afford before he gets to fucking tickle your clit with the fucking tip of his finger, you know, then that's so be it. That's what he wants. You're on a fucking dating site. I don't know what Raya is, but I'm assuming it's some sort of dating site. For or me, probably probably for more exclusive type people. I I don't know. I'm just guessing because I I don't give a shit about dating apps or huh. you know, social media and stuff. But I'm sure Raya is probably kind of like a higher end dating app, perhaps. Yeah, I'm looking. I don't know what this is. It's some sort of membership thing. See, I can't really see what we how we do it. We have multifaceted application process. So it's, it's like match.com. Yeah. Probably costs a lot to sign up or something. But yeah. Like, so, so it's for more higher end people. Yeah, exactly. But so what this guy went on there looking for pussy. That's what men want. That's what men that are men want, hon. And, and she went on there looking to hook up with a uh, rich guy, men with men with money. Yeah. Well, guess what? There's a reason that a guy with money is going to hook up with you. And it's not because they want enthralling conversation. It's because, look, I ain't going to lie. She's hot. She's definitely hot. But the only reason that I, that I or anybody else would want to hook up with her is because she's hot. Right. There's no guy. There's no guy that's looking at that picture and going, man, looks like a thinker. Looks like somebody I can have a conversation with. Right. She looks like she travels with a, with a uh, encyclopedia under her arm. I'll bet she'd make a great mother for my forthcoming children. <laughs> no one is saying that people, you know what people are saying when they see that picture pop up in their profile? I wonder if she'd wear a French maid's outfit for me. Yeah. I wonder how much it would cost me to get her to fucking bring her sister with her. <laughs> You know, that's what they're saying. They're not saying, oh, look at this enthralling young lady. I can't wait to meet her. That is not what's going on. <laughs> if you think otherwise, hon, then you're a fucking a moron. You went onto a site. He did exactly what he was supposed to. And you don't like it because you went on a, you went trolling for money. And instead of getting money, you got treated the way you should have been treated. Suck it up and deal with it. Period. Uh 
Harrelson, who said she was only she was only 19 when she matched with Perry, now 51. Mm-hmm. On there it is, the Elite app. Mm-hmm. Last May said that the friend star asked to move their conversations from Rhea to FaceTime almost immediately after matching. Yeah. All right. So what? Yeah. Because he doesn't want to leave a digital trail of him, <laughs> of him saying, Hey, here's my dick. I'd like to place it in your mouth. <laughs> the Los Angeles based personal assistant now 20. Mm-hmm. Said that she had matched with the other celebs before, but doesn't ever talk to older guys. But you did. You did. You talked to him. How are you? However, she chose to chat with Perry because she thought, oh, this would be funny. <laughs> Stop it. But you're not at you're not at the comedy store on, on Sunset Boulevard. And this guy doesn't want that. This is a dating app. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to go with her premise for a minute. That's fine. If that's what she wanted, but it's not what he wanted. You can't, you can't expect him to give you what you wanted blindly. You wanted to, to talk to somebody because you thought it would be funny. Okay. Fair enough. He wanted to talk to you because his dick was hard. (laughs) That's it. You didn't agree. So you part ways. You don't fucking save up conversations and then post it to Instacunt or Facebook or whatever. Fuck you, you bitch. Yeah. Fuck off. I was not really thinking anything of it. Harrelson added, noting that while she recognized the famous actor, the Gen Zer had never really actually watched Friends. So? <laughs> While on the FaceTime call, Harrelson said Perry suggested that they ask each other questions back and forth to get to know each other better. Okay. Mm -hmm. The TikTok video shows a short clip of them playing 20 questions. All right. Harrelson said none of the questions were sexual, but she did feel uncomfortable at times, especially since he said she was upfront about the fact that she was only 19. You're legal. Yeah. And, and you accepted his invitation. But you're legal. I don't care if you're 18 in an hour. You're legal. Correct. This guy, this guy literally could have said on your 17th birthday, he could have sat around waiting for the clock to turn to stick his dick at you. And as long as he waited long enough, then he's fine. Just stop it with I'm only 19. Fuck off. Yeah, you accepted his invitation as well. Yeah, you didn't hang up on him. You kept right on playing the 20 questions, you dumb bitch. Yeah, I don't think he minded that, she said. It kind of felt weird talking to someone my dad's age, but you did. So hang up. But you knew who this guy was and you knew that he wasn't some young, you know, some young guy. Yeah. You are you were aware of who he was because you said, well, I thought it would be funny because he was Chandler. Yeah. Okay. Great. Great. It's real funny. Why are you fucking with this guy? How about that? <laughs> why are you the Why are you the hot chick that has to fuck with everybody? Right. You know why? Why? Why does you think he's a creep, but he's not supposed to think that you're a cunt because you're teasing him. You're teasing him. He's teasing you back, but he's an asshole. Fuck you. Fuck you. I do not like this bitch. And it just felt not right, especially when he knew how he knew how young I was. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, off. So of course, it's his fault. Yeah. So what if he knew he knew you were legal? You keep ba- you keep banging that point home. What he heard and what you heard are two different things. Just because you don't want to fuck a 50-year-old guy? Fair enough. What he heard was legal to fuck. That's what he heard when you when he said when you said he, you were 19. What he probably heard was before I get her panties off, I need to check her ID. Right. That's what he heard. <laughs> don't you think? Uh, absolutely. You know, come on. I mean, you, you fuck younger chicks, dude. Are, 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 I mean, isn't that the thought when, when you, when a chick tells you that she's 22 or whatever, 
Don't you think, yeah, I got to verify this shit? Of course. You, you know, have to think about that. Sure. Yeah. You don't sit there and go, oh, this is a great joke <laughs> that you're 22 and I'm 58. <laughs> no, no, that that is not what goes through a guy's mind. Fuck you thinking that he needs to think like you, you dummy. Yeah. Jesus. The blonde beauty claimed that the actor asked at one point, am I as old as your dad? So it was weird, she added, noting that she told the odd couple star that he was only about a year older than her father, which she claimed the TV star laughed off. So so basically what she's saying is the, this uh, Matthew per Perry, the, the onus was on him to cut the conversation yeah. off he should have been like no no you're too young for me dear yeah, you you need to you know go go off to bed young lady yeah i need to fuck 40 year olds <laughs> 40 and up yeah but she was on that dating app knowing full and well that she was oh, trying yeah. to hook up with men of means or maybe not even trying to hook up maybe she's just one of these fucking twats that goes on and fucks with people but even if so he don't know that he sees a hot girl and wants to bang it I don't see that he did anything at all wrong in this. Nothing. He didn't throw dick unless you're about to read. And then he threw 20 pictures of his dick up on the screen. <laughs> you know, he didn't throw dick pics at her from the sound of it. He didn't even say, Hey, let me see your vag or let me see your tits or anything. He wasn't sexually obnoxious. And even if he was, that's, that's fine. But he wasn't, he didn't do that to the, to this girl. So what's the problem? Uh, Harrelson said her friend snapped a quick clip of the pair's FaceTime call. Look, look, look at all this social media, digital uh, footprint or fingerprint shit. Yeah, just trying to embarrass this guy. Oh, of course, which is what was posted onto her TikTok account last week. Mm -hmm. see, see, this is why I have nothing to do with social media of any kind. You don't? Nothing. I don't. I, I never heard that. <laughs> Honestly, I never had any intention of posting it. Yeah, of course you did. But then when I saw one video and thought, oh, this would be funny, mm -hmm. she said, I didn't expect it to blow up as fast as it did. Mm -hmm. Harrelson said she was inspired by another viral video shared on TikTok. TikTok is going to be my new Facebook. Okay. By a user named uh, Nivian J who posted a personal video of Ben Affleck after they matched on Raya. Okay. See again, Raya. Yeah. See, if if you were if you're a Hollywood star of any kind, mm -hmm. avoid Raya. Get off of social media. Yeah. Dumb shits. Yep. Harrelson said the two women are now in touch by way of a direct messenger and Jay has advised her to ignore all the hate comments. All right, well good. Start with ours. You posted something and you just have to expect for some people to be on your side and others to be on their side, Harrelson said. I'm on their side, Harrelson. Good for her. Obviously, a lot of people are going to take his side. And since he's a celebrity TV character, but that's okay. And that's not true. We're not taking his side because he's Chandler. No, we're taking a side because you're a cunt. Yeah, and he's right. Yeah. He didn't do nothing wrong. He did nothing wrong. He should go tomorrow on to Ray and hit on another 18-year-old. In fact, even younger. <laughs> he should find himself an 18, not an old bag like her. He should right. find himself an 18-year-old. Sure. Because he's, he's earned it with the money he's got. He should be sticking 18 and 19-year-olds three a week. Yeah, he should be playing Steely Dan in the background. Hey, 19. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Unlike Jay, though, Harrelson decided to take down her video with less than 24 hours of posting it because she did feel a little bad mm -hmm. stating that Perry was a really nice guy. But yeah, you tried to ruin this guy's fucking, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, his life. reputation. His life, really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because you go, oh, look what this guy did. Look what he did to me. He took advantage of me. He didn't do shit. He did nothing. Nothing wrong. This Bravo, Matthew Perry. Keep it up.
Yeah, the celeb assistant added that she and Perry never actually met in person, although the actor allegedly tried once and told her, maybe one day we can get a COVID test. You can get a COVID test. Oh, what a faggot. And come over because she wasn't really interested in him. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Whatever. I mean, he's, he's libtarded, but he's still right. All right. I just did it more for a joke of it. Then why is it on social media? Because she got she got attention from yeah. me, as you always put attention. Mm-hmm. Look at me, yeah, attention whore, which sounds mean, mm-hmm. but I didn't think anything of it. She said of her decision to FaceTime. Yeah. I thought it was more so innocent and harm. What, what were we gonna do? It was innocent and harmless. Mm-hmm. Hey, aren't you Chandler from Friends? You're the funny guy over there, aren't you? Yeah, you're a hot piece of snatch. You want to bang me? Well, yeah. really, no, but you got a lot of money, right? Yeah. But he didn't even do any of that. No. He played 20 questions about, oh, where'd you go to high school last year? <laughs> you know, that's what he did. He didn't do anything fucking weird. From the sound of it, he didn't do anything even creepy. You talked to a 19-year-old. Yeah. So on, a, on a dating app. Yeah, about potentially going for, like, dinner or coffee or some shit. Yeah. It doesn't sound like he was like, hey, come on over here and wear a bikini. <laughs> you know, it doesn't sound like he did any of that. He just was, he played 20 questions with this broad. And then, and then she fucking shared it like he did something horrible. Well, here, here's the, here's the thing that'll just drive you ro- right over the edge. All right. Harrelson concluded, I, I need a drum roll for this. Honestly. It's not really okay for these older guys to be talking to such young girls. Yes, it is. It's perfectly okay, you <laughs> stupid fucking twat. It is perfectly okay for anybody to talk to anybody that is legally eight, that is of legal age. Get off your fucking pink hat high horse, dummy. Your, your purpose is to drain cum. That's why you're on. That's what people see when they see you on Raya. They don't see you as somebody they want to spend time with. They don't see you as anybody that they want to fucking birth their kids, have a relationship, build a family. None of that. They say hot bitch, great lips. She's got some DSLs. I'd like to try them out. That's what they're thinking. Period. End of discussion. And your only reason for being on a high profile dating site is to meet men of means. Yeah. Because that- you're because you're privileged and and you want to stay privileged. Yeah. You you're not on just like uh plenty of fish. Yeah. You're not on adult friend finder or anything like that. Yeah. You're you're on some high end exclusive mm-hmm. dating website because you know that you know you're you're an attractive girl yeah. and you're gonna get some play with some guy who's got means yeah she's, and that's she's, all that boils down to she's just looking to hook a dude to stay at her mom and dad's means at the means that her mom and dad have given her without doing anything without doing anything, anything at all exactly with just because you're 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 genetically attractive yeah that's it that's it. So stop like you're the fucking wounded one here. You yeah, you're 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 a victim. You're not a victim. You're not a victim. Go to the trailer park and see what those people are dating. Then you'll know a victim. Yeah. God damn it. Why wasn't the son of Sam still out of jail? <laughs> Too funny. God damn it. Uh, in November, Perry announced he was engaged to 29-year-old literally literary major Molly Hurwitz. Okay. What does she look like? Wow. Molly H-U-R-W-I-T-Z. H-E-R-W-I-T-Z? Yeah. Molly Hurwitz. Not as good as the 19-year-old. That's for sure. Yeah, it looks like she broke up from Molly Hurwitz too, or he broke up with okay, her. Okay, well, this was uh, November, so it's only been what seven months. So he probably broke up with her and then <laughs> went out to get some new, some new ass. Yeah, he's he's still looking for um, 
for uh, what's girl Harrelson. <laughs> yeah, K- Katie Harrelson or whatever. Yeah, it, I, I think it's called Chasing Katie. <laughs> yeah, I mean she's okay. Yeah, she's not. She's not stunning. No, she's she's. I mean, she's a good-looking girl. Don't get me. I'm not trying no, to say I'm she's not, not. No, no, no. She's not a. She's not a troll. No, she. I mean, she's she's okay. Yeah, she's not 120 million dollar man. Okay, but she's no. okay. Why? Why is this guy so desperate to hook up with some chick and you know promise to marry her? Who knows? Well, I mean, we don't know that he was even on the dating site trying. Maybe, maybe the dating site is is the answer to I'm never going to get engaged again. Yeah, I know, but know that. but according to this, he was engaged to this girl. Yeah, and maybe when he broke up with her, he said, "You know what? That's it. Done. <laughs> Done. So I'm gonna never get married again, and and I'll just." bang chicks on Raya. Yeah. Harrelson is still on Raya. Maybe you got a chance, Chris. Mm -hmm. And said she's not been kicked off yet. Mm, No. Not will I'm not willing to pay a thousand dollars or whatever it is to join Raya. (laughs) Yeah, but you're an old guy. True. How old are you? Fifty two. Oh well you're Matthew Perry's age. Yeah, exactly. Matthew Matthew Perry just a couple dollars short of that hundred twenty million. Like a hundred and 19.9 19.9 of it. <laughs> I hate these chicks. Yeah, I do too. What a bitch. Yep. It's like you're on Raya because that's, that is the place where you're going to get, uh, action was guys who have money. Mm-hmm. That's the only reason you're on there. Yeah. There's a reason you weren't on plenty of fish or match. Yeah. Cause those are fucking for poor people. <laughs> yeah. It's the Southwest airlines of dating it is <laughs> plenty, plenty, plenty. expect a fight to break out in the chat room <laughs> right well dude match match is like the average people plenty of fish is like the fucking ravenna trailer park of dating it really is it's it's like trying to date the chick that's moving between the trucks at the truck stop <laughs> it really is it's the lot lizard of uh it is dating sites. it is <laughs> it is the lot lizard <laughs> all right are we ready to get the fuck out of here yeah it's been a lot of fun yeah it is silly tonight oh my god i know i know it was heated at the beginning but uh it was fun tonight what was heated uh, the whole uh the cia video oh well, whatever yeah you said it was giving you a heart attack <laughs> it, it was making my head hurt but I, <laughs> I can live with it I just love smashing these these privileged bitches who just oh he took advantage of me. Oh, I, I had a face to face time with him, and he said, "Am I as old as your dad?" Yeah, oh. <laughs> but he didn't even ask to meet up with me in person, and I've been taken advantage of. Why was he talking to me? Yeah, he's only worth a hundred and twenty million dollars, and I'm just a I'm just a skanky cunt out. <laughs> I'm Brentwood. <laughs> mm-hmm. I hope wherever they got their money from, they get sued for whatever bad could happen in that organization and lose it all. Oh my God. And she becomes a fucking trailer park fucking jizz catcher. What was the, what was that other one? What was that other dating site that got compromised? Something Madison. Oh, Ashley Madison. Ashley Madison. Right. Uh, wasn't that was like the premier site at one point? That was the, yeah, because Howard Stern was pushing it real hard. Yeah, Ashley Madison. Mm-hmm, that one. Now, away. now it's Raya. Okay, well, good for Raya. Whatever. Who cares. All right. All the right. Only, well, the only good place for her is the Bunny Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get out there and perump Nevada. Yeah, go go earn your keep, whore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Suck a dick in hell. Yeah, go on, beat it. All right. All right, well, let's get out of here. Um, mm-hmm. I guess I'll see you Saturday. This Saturday? Yeah, next Saturday. What is next Saturday? Mikey's uh, graduation. I don't think hey. I'm going to be there. What are you doing? I'm going to hang out with Joel Sosa from I- IBD and John Karabi. I wasn't aware. I-, I thought that Mikey's thing was on the 24th. No, it's next week. Oh, well, you may not see me. All right. I was, <laughs> Doesn't I was, look like you're going to see me because I'm going to, I'm going to Karabi. So are you not going to Mikey's thing? No, it's all the way in Versailles. 
Where's that? Like west of Columbus. I wasn't aware. Yeah. I that Joel, Joel from IBD group who manages like dead daisies and okay. Karabi and whatever hit me up and was like, Hey, you know, let's hook up. I'm going to be in town. And okay. Like, sure. well, okay. Whatever. I'm going to, I'm going to be in town on uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, you know, I'll and be, I'm gonna be out of town. <laughs> I'm going to be out of town. I'm going to be, cause I'm actually staying over. I'm not going to drive back. Well, why would you? Yeah. I'm going to get a hotel and stay over. Okay. Shit. All right. Well, so much for that. Do we do a show or not? Probably not because I'm going to be there on Thursday. Oh yeah. I'm going right. to be there Thursday evening and I'll be there through Sunday. All right. Well then you guys can look forward to some best of next week. <laughs> well, well, this was the first I'm hearing of this, Chris. Sorry. I, I didn't even, I thought, I really thought Mikey's thing was on the 24th. No, it's, it's next Saturday. Oh, well, I will send him a, a personal apology that I cannot make it. All right. Well, I will be at, uh, the party on Saturday afternoon. Okay. And I'll be visiting family and friends and visiting with my dad and my sister and some high school friends and shit like that. By high school, do you mean that you went to school with or that are in high school? No, no, no. Uh uh, Actually, the guy who was the best man at my wedding, believe me. Nice. Very nice. I I reconnected with him uh, via the text uh, a few few weeks ago and will, you, will like, you be punching him in the face for not stopping you no but uh his his mother uh mm-hmm. who, who uh, when i was in high school right uh she he told me recently that he goes she always asks about you and just wants to know where you've been what have you been doing so it's kind of like old home week for me right so uh yeah i'll be uh i'll be in town and uh if uh, if you're around on friday maybe i'll hook up with you on friday yeah, maybe, maybe we might have to do that because I'm leaving Saturday morning for. Okay. For, Fair enough. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be, be in town. I'm going to come in Thursday evening. I'll be there uh, Friday, Saturday, and leaving Sunday. Okay. All right. Well, there we go. We'll, we'll, we'll make it work somehow, some way, some, somewhere. <laughs> 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 all right fair enough all right well it's been a fun show i appreciate everyone who's tuned in and is part of the show and isn't pissing me off tonight right so uh we're gonna get out of here we'll be back in two weeks not next week but the following week okay and uh blah 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 so uh what are we leaving with them uh, uh sons of apollo asphyxiation okay some jeff scott soto that's right and group Mm-hmm. So until two weeks from tonight, this is Neely along with my very good friend, Riz Egan. We're gone.